This video will illustrate the steps for properly assembling Oregon 700 series auto chain grinders. Before using the grinders, be sure to read and understand the information provided in the owner's manual. Please note safety glasses should always be worn when the machine is running and protective gloves should be used when handling the chain and the wheel. The Oregon 700 series grinders come with the necessary parts and tools for assembly, although you may prefer the convenience of your own tools. Machines can be set up on a bench or the stand that comes included with the 720 and 730. The stand can also be purchased separately for the 710. Please note that mounting hardware for the bench is not supplied. To mount the grinders on the stand, begin by assembling the stand, which comes in four pieces, a base, two sides, and the front. Start by placing the base piece on the floor. Place the front on top of the base by aligning the holes located on the front right and left corners. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, fasten the pieces together with the supplied hex head bolts. Next, attach the side pieces together with the supplied hex head bolts at two locations. To complete the stand assembly, connect the sides to the base and then the front. Hand tighten all fasteners before securing with a wrench. Installing the pneumatic tensioner. To begin, lay the stand on the floor with the front piece facing up. Attach the handle. Loosely fasten a nut and bolt at one end of the rod. This will be the top. Slide the rod through the unit. To position the pneumatic unit on the stand, insert the bottom of the rod into the base. Next, position the top bolt into the upper mounting notch shown here. Once the top portion is secured, attach the bottom of the rod with the fastener. At this point, bring the stand back to an upright position. There are two air lines to be attached to the pneumatic unit, one with an air fitting unit attached to the end and one without a fitting. Insert the line without the fitting through the hole located on the left side of the stand bringing it from back to front. Route the line through the back of the rod and insert it into the pneumatic tensioner until it is firmly seated. To complete the base assembly, attach the chain holders. Insert the provided long bolts into the holes located on both sides of the stand. Tighten the bolts with a 13 millimeter wrench. This is a convenient place to store loops of chain not currently being sharpened. The stand will need to be secured on the floor through the holes located at the base of the stand bolts and other mounting hardware are not provided. Connecting the power supply. Once the stand is assembled and secured, fasten the AC-DC converter to the back of the stand with two panhead screws. Next, place the grinding unit on the stand. Fasten with provided hardware. Two carriage bolts on the back and one to two hex head bolts on the front depending on the model. The 710 model requires three bolts one in front and two in the back, while the 720 and 730 models require four, two in front and two in the back. To connect the AC-DC converter, simply insert the connector on the black and red wires into the control panel on the left-hand side of the grinding unit. Connect the air supply. Push the air line attached to the pneumatic tensioner into the slot marked as out on the back of the grinding unit. Next, insert the second air line into the slot marked as in. Finally, connect the line with the fitting unit to an air compressor. The air pressure should be at a minimum of 4 and maximum of 8 bars. An alternative to having the grinder on a stand is to bench mount the machine. Bench mounting allows you flexibility and the ability to sharpen chain virtually anywhere using standard electrical outlets or the optional 12 volt battery clips. If the machines are not being used with the stand and the pneumatic tensioner, it should be used with the weight tensioner in order to provide the chain with the tension needed for grinding. The weight tensioner is included with the purchase of the 710 model and is available separately for purchase for the 720 and 730 models. The first step in preparing the grinder for use is installing and centering the appropriate grinding wheel. Your grinder comes with various wheels for use on different chain types. These vitrified wheels measure 5 and 3 quarter inch in diameter with a 5 8 inch arbor size. It is critical to select the wheel of the appropriate thickness for each chain. The correct wheel size for a particular Oregon saw chain can be found in several sources. The operating manual, the Oregon maintenance and safety manual, the back of the Oregon chain packaging, or online at OregonProducts.com. 
In addition to vitrified wheels, long-lasting CBN wheels are also available. Sold separately, you may find CBN wheel part numbers in your grinder manual. Before installing a new or used ceramic grinding wheel, always perform a ring test to check for wheel integrity. To perform a ring test, place a solid object through the center of the grinding wheel and tap lightly on the wheel with a metal tool. A safe grinding wheel will ring sharply, indicating that the wheel is intact and ready for use. A dull thud indicates the wheel is cracked or otherwise damaged and should be discarded. Once the grinding wheel has been verified, you're ready to begin the install. Using the provided Torx wrench, remove the grinding wheel shield. Next, remove the wheel attachment nut from the hub. Then, insert the appropriate wheel onto the hub. Using moderate pressure, secure the wheel attachment nut to hold the wheel in place. Warning, over tightening the wheel can cause it to break. Finally, reposition the shield and secure it in place with the retaining screws. Before using the grinder, you'll need to check to ensure the wheel is properly installed. With the power off, gently spin the grinding wheel and check for wheel wobble. Conduct a final check for proper assembly by turning on the main power and switching on the wheel power switch while standing to the side. Look for vibration due to the wheel oscillation or other interference. Always keep bystanders at a safe distance from a grinder while in operation. The grind wheel is designed to rotate away from the operator. This safety feature reduces the likelihood of sharp pieces of shrapnel striking the operator should the wheel fracture or break during the grinding process. Do not stand behind the grinder when it is operating. To get the best performance from your grinder, ensure the grinding wheel is centered over the vise. Refer to the owner's manual or operating video for specific instructions. Before sharpening chain, the grind wheel must be shaped to the proper profile. Using the dressing brick and a light sweeping action, shape the edges of the wheel. Use the provided template to verify proper radius shape for the specific grinding wheel being used. An additional telescopic chain extension accessory may be purchased separately for the 730-120 model and is useful on chain loops longer than 62 drive lengths. Begin assembling the accessory by inserting the inner part of the telescopic pole into the outer sleeve. Next, insert the telescopic arm assembly into the upper slot on the stand. Then, place a stopper in the outer sleeve opposite the support leg. Tighten the stopper in place. Use the triangular gusset to connect the telescopic pole with the support leg. Length of the telescopic extension accessory can be adjusted based on the length of the chain. After assembling the accessory, place the chain into the vise, bring it around the tensioner, and place it through the chain roller on the pneumatic tensioner. Adjust the telescopic arm as needed. With assembly complete, you're now ready to use your Oregon 700 series grinder. For more information on this, other Oregon products, and additional maintenance and safety information, visit OregonProducts.com.